Happy Easter. This is the day we remember that new life has come. Jesus has risen from the dead. We find that Alleluia that we buried at the beginning of Lent. We take it out and we proclaim Alleluia. Christ is risen. You can go and look at your little baggie in the window. See if the seeds have sprouted with new life, just like Jesus has new life today. So I encourage you to look for that life beginning today, but continuing for the 50 days of Easter tide. So prepare for that new life by painting that little pot with the soil and preparing it for the plant that is to come. You also received Easter eggs in your, in your bag. You could hide them if you want to and have an Easter egg hunt even at home. So I invite you to settle in and listen to the sacred story of when Jesus rose from the dead and his friends went to go look for him. So settle in, quiet your body and your mind, and listen to this sacred story that's been told for centuries. In JAM, we use the curriculum, Young Children in Worship. It is a kind of curriculum that mirrors the worship that kids will experience for the rest of their lives, but in an age-appropriate way, using multi-sensory formats with objects that they can touch and feel when they're in the classroom. So we begin that fourfold worship first with greeting one another, to let one another know that God is with us. So we say, the Lord be with you, and the person responds, and also with you. We take deep breaths to prepare ourselves for worship. We then sing songs so that we can center our mind. After that, we hear the sacred stories of God that have been told for centuries. Then a response time. After that, a time of thanksgiving where we get to say thank you to God for the joy of hearing these stories. After that, we do a benediction. That's a fancy way to say that we bless one another as we go out into the world. So I invite you to turn down your devices, quiet your mind, settle in, and listen for what God might be nudging you towards today. Happy Easter and welcome to the Worship Center. Now the Worship Center is a very special place. It's a special place for us to be with God. And in this place, we have all the time we need. So we don't need to hurry. We can walk more slowly and we can talk more softly because someone might be talking with God and we don't want to disturb them. Now this is a special place to be with God and to be with God, we need to get ready. Now you can get ready all by yourself. One of the ways that we get ready in our Jam Club classroom is by taking a couple deep breaths. So we breathe in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And you can do this with me if you would like. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Good, let's do it one more time. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now another way that we get ready to be with God is through our greeting. Because today is Easter, we have a new greeting. So this time I say, Christ is risen, and you respond by saying, the Lord is risen indeed. Okay, let's try that. Christ is risen. Okay, one more time. Christ is risen. Good. We can also get ready to hear the stories of God by singing some songs. Now, in our Jam Club classroom, we sing two songs. We sing, Oh God, I Adore You, and Be Still and Know. Now, you can join with me as we sing them. We'll sing, Oh God, I Adore You first. Oh God, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Jesus, I adore you. 
lay my life before you how i love you spirit i adore you lay my life before you how i love you good now let's sing be still and know be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god Good. So when we hear these words, and when we sing these words, we know that it's time to get ready to hear one of God's stories. So cross your legs, hug your hands, or hug your knees, and watch as I prepare to tell a story of God. Today is Easter. This is the day that we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and that God made him alive again. is a tomb. It's a special place for the dead. Now when Jesus died, his friends took him and took his body from the cross and put it here. They rolled a huge stone in front of it to close it. Now Mary Magdalene loved Jesus very much. So early on Sunday morning, Mary and her friends went to the tomb. The tomb was open. Jesus was gone. Where is he? They cried. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. Be joyful. Jesus is alive. Go tell the disciples. Jesus is risen from the dead. But Mary Magdalene would not leave. She stood crying. Then someone said, Who are you looking for? And he called her by name, Mary. And she knew the sound of his voice. It was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Mary Magdalene was so happy she couldn't help but run and tell everyone. I have seen the Lord. Jesus is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Now I wonder what it was like to go to Jesus tomb that Sunday morning. Hmm. Maybe they felt really sad. I wonder how Mary felt when her dear friend died. I wonder what it feels like when someone or something you love dies. But I wonder how Mary felt when Jesus' body 
was not in the tomb. I wonder also what it was like to hear that Jesus is alive, that Jesus is risen. I wonder what it feels like to tell others that Jesus is risen. I wonder also how we know that Jesus is alive. Well, if you wonder, you can wonder in our response time. Now is the time where we can respond openly to this story. You can do this by coloring or drawing a picture. You can discuss the wondering questions and talk about what it feels like to know that Jesus is risen and that Jesus is alive. You can build or craft with materials that you have at home. You can write a poem or a story that expresses how you feel in response to today's story. Now this is an open space and time for you to move about and share your responses to the story. So you can pause the video and when finished, come back and we'll return to our time of Thanksgiving. Now is our time of Thanksgiving. And we light this Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us when we hear the stories of God. Now this is the Bible, and the story we told today is found in the Bible. The story is found in John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. So if you'd like to pause and read this with the people you're watching this video with, you can do that now. I will also read it for us. Again, that's John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she bent over to look in the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, at one the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she saw, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned to him. And she said, Teacher, Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them what she had seen. Now it is time for us to give thanks to God. You can say something you are thankful for or something about the story or maybe something about your work today. You may talk to God out loud or if you don't want to talk to God out loud, that's okay too. God listens to us even if we don't talk out loud. So let's get ready to pray. And again, if you want to pray with those that you're watching the video with, you can pause and pray. Otherwise, I will pray for us. All right. Let's get ready to pray. Thank you, God, for this Easter story. This story that Jesus is not dead, but that Jesus was risen. Thank you, God, for hearing us and for allowing us to know this story. Amen. I'm going to change the light now. Look, the light is all in one place. And I'm going to change this light so that it's not just here, but that it can be in many places at once. Watch. Now the light of Christ, that was just in one place and one time, can be in many places at all times. So the light can be everywhere, in our worship center, but also with you. This ends our time of worship together. The love of God go with you. Go in peace.